In this lesson, I'm going to be showing you how to play the main slap bass groove from the Level 42 instrumental Sandstorm. Now, as I'm filming this, Level 42 are on tour here in the UK, and they're playing this track live for the first time in over 30 years, which is really exciting for those of us who've followed the band for a long time. So I've also filmed tutorials for the other two sections of this piece, and these are available to subscribers of my video courses over at BaselinePublishing.com. Now, if you subscribe to my video courses, you'll not only be able to get the tab and the backing track for this piece, but you'll be gaining access to many hours of detailed bass guitar video lessons. Anyway, I hope you enjoy working on this line, and please do let me know in the comments which song, Level 42 or otherwise, you'd like to see me cover next. This is a classic Mark King slap groove, and if you've never looked at Mark's slap technique before, this is a good place to start. So we're going to be playing a two-bar line here, and it's going to be played over the following chords. So in the first bar, we have one chord, E minor 9, and then in the second bar, the chord changes to A minor 9, and then we have G minor 9 and F minor 9 for a beat each. Now obviously we're not going to be playing those chords, but that's what we're going to be working against. Okay, so the line in the first bar is going to sound like this. Okay, so let's break that down. So on the first beat of the bar, we're going to slap the open E string, and then we're going to follow that with a fretting hand slap. That's going to be a ghost note. So the use of the fretting hand to provide ghost notes is something that Mark King is really well known for, and it's essentially filling in the gaps in the line and uh, creating a kind of linear 16th note slap part. Now to complete beat one, we're going to play two further ghost notes. This time they're both going to be played with the thumb, and I recommend moving onto the A string for these. Now, a ghost note is a ghost note, and the reason I'm suggesting that you move on to the A string is because we're going to be slapping notes on the A string for the second beat of the bar, so we're just moving there a bit early. Okay, so on the second beat, we're going to be playing uh, a hammer-on on the A string from the D to the E. And we're going to follow that with two ghost notes on the E string, both played with the thumb. Okay, so let's hear uh, beats one and two together. Okay, so that's the first two beats of bar one. Now, moving into the third beat, we're going to play this phrase. So this is four notes. We're slapping the open E string. We're using the fretting hand to play a ghost note. We then play a ghost note with the thumb. And then we're going to pop the G at the fifth fret of the D string. Four notes. Now, when you're playing that, or when you're fretting that G on the D string, I recommend using your first finger because you're going to need to keep the other three fingers of your fretting hand available to play a fretting hand slap at the beginning of the fourth uh, beat. Okay, so beat three, one more time. So thumb, ghost note with the fretting hand, ghost note with the thumb, and then we're popping that G. Okay, so uh, beat four of this first bar is uh, going to be as follows. We're just going to follow that popped note that we just had with a fretting hand slap. We're then going to play another ghost note with the thumb, and then we're going to finish the beat and the bar with another hammer on from D to E. So. That's one of those phrases that's a little bit awkward to play in isolation because it feels much more natural when you play it with beat three. So I'm going to play beats three and four together for you now. And again. Okay, let's hear all of bar one now. And again. Okay, so moving into the second bar of the sequence, the chord now changes to A minor 9, and we're going to start the bar by playing this. So that's two ghost notes on the E string, and then we play the A at the fifth fret. Then on the second beat of the bar, we're going to be popping the F sharp on the D string, that's the fourth fret, hammering onto the G a fret higher, and then returning to the E string for a couple of ghost notes. Okay, so that's the phrase that we have on beats one and two. Now, the remainder of the bar is pretty straightforward. We're just going to be moving down to G. We're going to play two eighth notes on the G. You can keep the first one nice and short because it's marked staccato. So short, long. And then as we move down to the F on beat four, we're just going to play a ghost note with the thumb, and then we're going to slap the F. And you can, you can afford to apply a little bit of vibrato uh, to that low F. 
Okay, so bar two sounds like this. Okay, I'm gonna stick bars one and two together for you now. And again. Okay, so that's the first two bars of the main slap groove from Sandstorm. Okay guys, so I hope you've enjoyed working on the first slap bass groove from Sandstorm. Now don't forget, if you want to watch tutorials for the other two sections of this piece, they are available to subscribers of my video courses over at BasslinePublishing.com. And if you enjoyed working on this piece, I recommend checking out the Intermediate Slap Bass course that we have over there because it contains many of the elements that were covered here. Okay, that's it from me. I'll see you soon.